So today it's the funnels. It's all about the funnels, how the ma uh, funnels make the magic possible. And guess what? In network marketing, you only have to use two. So if you've been in ClickFunnels, there's dozens of options um, for funnels. And you can learn those later and you can implement them. But actually right now for your business and network marketing, you can do it all with only two funnels. And actually to begin with, I'm going to have you only focus on one until you um, become successful with that one funnel. You understand how to drive traffic to that funnel. You understand um, how to convert with that funnel, how to get leads and how to make sales. And once you achieve that, then we're going to let you move to the next funnel. So the two types of funnels we're going to discuss today is the bridge page funnel and the webinar funnel. So what is the purpose of a funnel? It's only to obtain leads and create a customer. That's it. That's all a funnel does. It's a web page and it's follow up emails. It's a better way for you to control the experience that your customer has when they enter your website versus a normal website. Think of it as somebody's coming in shopping for a beach trip. Well, they have a certain list of things they're going to want to take on that beach trip. And if you've got someone there that can guide them, say they're walking into a Walmart, everybody knows Walmart or Target. You've got every item in the world you could possibly buy at either one of those stores. But when you have a funnel, you're going to direct them to, okay, you're a beach goer. Here's a suntan screen. Here's the bathing suits. Here are the beach towels. Here's the coolers. Um, here's snack foods for you. You know, you've got somebody to direct you in because you don't need to, you're not in there to buy, well, you may get a book to read on the beach, but you're not there to buy um, jeans. You know, you're not there to buy light bulbs. So this is exact same way. A funnel directs them and they don't get on a website and get lost because there's too many options. A funnel, like a squeeze page, you have one function. Well, actually two. You either provide your email or you leave. That's the only options you have on a squeeze page. So that is the, the premise of a funnel. That's the, the first part of it anyway. And once you get them on your email list, like we've been talking about, you need to really celebrate and pat yourself on the back for that because that's a huge win. Because an average marketer earns $1 per month per person on their email list. So if you have a thousand people on your email list, you should earn a thousand dollars a month in your business. And that's if you're doing this wrong. That's if you're horrible at this and you're not loving on your list and you're not providing them value and you're not nurturing them and building your friendship that we talked about. If you're doing that, then you should make two, three, four, I don't even know how much you can possibly make per person on your list. And this is something that you control your salary. And this is just from your email list. This is not really talking about your network marketing. This is just the products you're going to sell to your email list to help them build a team in network marketing. So you've got the other revenue coming in from network marketing. And if you do what I'm doing, and do affiliate also, then you've got three streams of income. You've got your network marketing, the people that buy your products and the people that join your team. And you've got the products that you're selling separate that's teaching them how to market online. And then you've got the affiliate that you're getting money for. Like I'm an affiliate for ClickFunnels, obviously, because I'm promoting them in this course. But I don't promote anything I don't use. And there's no point in me wasting my time teaching you how to do something that I don't even use. So if you choose not to use ClickFunnels, that's fine. But in this course, I'm just going to show you the one way and everything. I'm going to show you how to use Aweber because that's what I use. That's the email list and Canva. That's how I use, you know, that's what I use to build my graphics and everything. So then you've got email coming in from three different directions. So this is talking about that you should be able to make, you know, $3 per person per month 
So, and each month you're growing your email list. So if you want an, an income of $100,000 a month, get your email list to 100,000 people. And then, like I said, if you're doing a horrible job at this marketing, you should still make $100,000 a month if that's how many people you have on your list. So the first page of the funnel, we've already mentioned the squeeze page, that is to obtain a lead. So you're trying to, to get them to stop scrolling and to click on your squeeze page to get the information that you're asking them. So think of the National Enquirer, how their headlines make you stop and say, what? That's the type of headlines you need to write. You need to write things that are going to make people stop and say, wait, how, how is she doing that with network marketing if she's not talking to family and friends? You know, you want them to ask the question, how and I need to find out what she's doing. So curiosity is a big part of your funnels and in your um, your copy for your funnels. The next page is to create a customer out of them. So the first page you're getting them curious about what you have to offer and then you're getting their email address, bam, they're on your email list and now you can continue to sell to them and the second page is you try to get them to become a customer at this point. You're making an offer to them. Hey, buy this um, document on how to generate leads for your, this PDF on how to generate leads for your, your business. You know, $14.95 or whatever you want to charge. And if they say yes, then now you've got a customer out of that person. So you need to put them in your email list under a buyer so they get a different series of emails than the emails you're sending potential customers. So then after they have bought from you one time, you don't stop the process, you offer them something else. Then you have an upsell that you can offer them or you can send them to your, if, if they've bought enough from you and you think that it's possible that they're going to either buy a product from you, depending on what you're doing, you can send them to your MLM page. And you need to, funnels need to be simple and need to have one goal. So if your goal is to sell the product, then you need to have a funnel that does nothing but sell your product. And I'm talking about your MLM product now, not your um, training products that you're having to get people in. So if you're doing a funnel and you're trying to get for mine, it's prospects that to buy customers, basically. So then that's one type of funnel for that. And then you also need to do a different type of funnel that is for the business. So you don't need to cross the two up. You don't need to try to achieve, you know, try to get a customer and turn them into a, a um, team member in the same funnel. It's going to be confusing and you're going to kill your conversion rates if you do that. People are not going to opt in. They're not going to buy because they're going to get confused. So once you have them on your list, then you can redirect them to other funnels that have other offers for them. Or you can send them back to the same funnel they just went through because chances are, and just change the front end offer. Because chances are they may have bought your low ticket item, but they didn't buy because only a small percentage are going to buy the hundred and up, hundred dollar and up offers. So you can do a different headline and put them right through, send them an email with a link to a different funnel that's really the exact same funnel with a different first page. Is that not amazing? So you only have to duplicate your funnel. You just redo the first page or send them to the funnel that is starts on the second page and moves on. Mind blowing, right? And again, we're trying to build relationships, build friendships with these people. This is the slide I had in the last um, training as well, because this is very, very important. You need to give them value. You need to get them to teach them and train them to open your emails. You want them to, when they see your name, like, oh, this is going to be good. It's either going to be entertaining or it's going to be something that I need to learn for my business. It's going to help me make money, help me get leads. Provide that value to them over deliver. 
And once you build their trust, then they're going to move into the best friend range, which is the ultimate goal of every marketer. You want to be best friends, have them in your raving fans category. So they will continue to buy and buy everything that you produce. Because after all, your email list is your greatest safety net. Because we're doing this without loans. We're doing this without a safety net. The email list is your safety net. So if your MLM business leaves tomorrow and you've built a huge business out of this and they go belly up, guess what? You have your email list. You can start over. You can create another product and offer it tomorrow to your email list that you already have and get cash flow coming back in until you can get reestablished with a new business or a new MLM company. So you want to email your list daily, but again, you want to provide value to them. Be entertaining. Let them in your world. Let them get to know you and trust you and love you. And the only way to do that is to be honest with them and let them see who you truly are. Some of what we talked about with the um, leadership style that you're going to be, your attractive character, as Russell calls it. And look at this. This is a fact now. A customer will continue to purchase from you until you either upset them or you stop making them an offer. So don't do anything to upset them. And by all means, don't stop offering them your products. Continue to think of ways to serve them. How can you make their lives better, easier, happier? And that's why I'm saying while you're in this course, Take massive notes because everything you're learning is a potential product you can now turn around and sell to somebody else because there's plenty of people out there exactly where you are right now and exactly where you were a year ago, either not even in the business or trying to learn the business. So as long as you're one chapter ahead, you can teach them. That's all you have to be is just one step ahead of where they are. Show them what you've learned. Show them how you achieved it and make their life easier so they don't have to go through what you went through to try to learn it. And you can do campaigns where you ask them what they need. What is your biggest challenge? Communicate with your list. Let them know that they're in this with you. And you're going to serve them. So when they answer back, my biggest challenge is getting people to open my emails. Or my biggest challenge is to um, record videos online. To record my courses or to create YouTube videos. Well, then you create a tool that teaches them how to do that. You've solved that problem. And they're going to buy that from you. And you know they're going to buy because they told you that's one of their pain points. That is a problem for them. So you solve it, they're definitely going to jump on it and take it. So the goal of our funnel, now we want to break even. So what does that mean? Basically, if you put, if it costs you $10 per person to get someone on your email list, so you're giving Facebook or Instagram or whatever else you decide, YouTube, whatever else you decide to advertise on. If you're giving them your money, then you want to be able to, to make $10 off of those people. $10 back. So if, it, if you spent $10 per person, then you're wanting them to buy enough product so you have made $10 back out. And not $10 per person. It just needs to even out as $10. So one person could buy $1,000 worth of items from you, and then you could have 100 people that don't buy anything. But it evens out because it's the same amount of money you put in, you got right back out. And the ultimate goal is to make money on this. If you make money to make a list, holy cow, because breaking even is a million dollar a year business if you just break even. So if you're just getting, putting $1 in, getting $1 out, then you have, that's when you need to throw money to it because everybody on your list, everything they buy after that initial point of joining your list is pure profit. And again, that's why we want to build a massive email list 
and nurture them because you are going to have some turnover rate. You're going to have some people that are going to unsubscribe or that are never going to open your emails or just not be interested or stop the business altogether. So you're going to have some turn turnover and that's fine. But you need to continually bring in new, new blood, new people that are interested in what you have to offer. And that's what these funnels are going to help you accomplish. So if you can make even more off of it, that's what I'm saying. This is your money for your advertising. So you can use your affiliate money also. So if you're an affiliate, all the money that you make off of your affiliate products because you didn't have to create the product. You don't have to produce the product provide it. You just have to do a one page thing, which is what I'm showing you today works exactly for affiliate also. So you can create your affiliate funnels and sell products for other people. And the money you make off of that, you can put right back in your advertising. And the person that spends the most is going to, to win in this business. And if you can, who wouldn't, if you could put a thousand dollars in and you get 2000 out, then next week you put 2000 in and you get 4000 out. You know, if you're getting double out whatever you're putting in, then take every bit that's profit and put it right back in your ads and just keep building it up. Don't do that. Don't scale it till you know you have a funnel that's working. You have to do the math and make sure that your cost to acquire is the same as your um, average cart value. Average cart value is what they've spent from you and the cost to get them into your world to spend that money. So the bridge page, this is the first thing we're going to do. And you can either do the product or you can do the business with this. I think the business is going to be much more challenging because this is just basically it's two pages. But the bridge page itself is just one page. So you have a squeeze page up front to get the email address from the people and to get them interested in what you're going to talk about on your bridge page. And the bridge page can also be used for your products also. You don't have to do it for your MLM. You can do what I'm doing. I'm doing the in-between. I'm offering the courses that I provide, the training that I provide in between the offer to the MLM company. So I'm getting them into my world, getting them to know me, getting them to trust me. And then hopefully they will join my team. Basically, they'll ask me to join my team without me having to sell to them. But you can also create this and put this out there, too. So you've got your squeeze page. That's capturing the email. So your headline needs to be something that makes your prospects stop and want to read more. And this is an example. How to blank. And this is what they desire most without blank, the pain they want to avoid the most. And then you can also put a tagline under that. So like a little subcategory, subheadline, and you can say, this works even if you hate blank. And that's something else they may dread doing when trying to get results for their, um, you are offering them. So like for MLM, how to, um, how to recruit people without harassing your family and friends. Because that's something most people don't want to do. They don't want to talk to their family and friends. How to recruit people for your MLM business without posting on social media about your business. That's another big desire that people don't want to have to do. They don't want everybody in the world to know they're in MLM. And Facebook doesn't really like you advertising about your MLM business anyway. So you need to... You can advertise about your products, though, but not about the business opportunity. You've got to get that, get them the leads in first and then do the second page of your funnel offering about the, the business, if that's what you're going to do. So the second page, so you've got your squeeze page that does nothing but collects the name and email of your customer, your client. And then the second page is your bridge page. This is this bridges the gap between your squeeze page and your MLM company, or it bridges the gap between your squeeze page and your sales page to promote your own products. And if you're doing affiliate, then this is the gap between your squeeze page and the affiliate page that you send them to, to actually purchase the, the order. Like for Russell to purchase one of his books for free. <laughs> 
So um, on this page, you're going to have a video that's a little sales video. That's your sales message explaining basically your origin story, how you came across this product, why you love this product, why you use it. And you don't want to do your techno babble here. They don't care how many different chemicals your product has in it. They don't care how it was designed. They don't care how, you know, all the scientific mumbo jumbo and all the technical stuff you know about your product. They only care, does it work? And emotionally, why did you start buying it in the first place? People buy for emotional reasons and they justify it with logic. You're never going to get them to buy if you're quoting facts at them and quoting um, stats at them. They don't care about that. That's just ways for them to justify the purchase. So you always want to lead with emotion. And then you just have a button that, again, takes them to, you know, if they like what you said in your sales message, okay, yeah, great. Yeah, I would like to have that. And also in your sales message, you're not only promoting, um, I say if you're promoting one of Russell's books, then you can say, and if you purchase this .com secrets book, I'll also give you this and you'll get this bonus and this bonus and this. So you put that in your sales video as well. And you have your little stack slide already done. You create a presentation like I'm doing here, record your screen and you show them a screen of time like we did in yesterday's training show them this is the first bonus and this is the second bonus that you're going to get and you have the first bonus sitting there and the second bonus then you add the third and each time you recap all three like I did today with what you have already learned I recapped everything I said in yesterday's training and added well I added yesterday's training to it because you hadn't learned that at that point when I did when I started yesterday's video does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> that was kind of a long way to explain it. But again, as you add a topic, you read everything else and then you add the item. You, you read the item you just added to your list. Simple as that. Now, in your sales video, what are you going to say? This is the Billy Mays script. Remember Billy Mays used to be on the OxyClean commercials? Oxy, <laughs> he had the slick back hair. He was in all his info infomercials. He was a great salesman. I think he passed away. I don't think he's um, living anymore. But anyway, this is what he did in all of his sales messages. In your video, you tell your origin story. And again, this is emotionally how you got in your MLM or emotionally how you came to buy the products. It's not just, oh, yeah, I um needed these products and I bought them and the business looked like it was a good opportunity so I signed up. Nobody's going to join you if you tell it like that. You've got to tell your whole story of you know how like for me how I hated my job. I had a horrible unfair boss and he caused me to start having panic attacks and then a friend of mine introduced me to MLM and I saw that as my way out so I could get an MLM because it allows me to not only be my own individual and be my own boss, but it also allows me to help others. I'm rewarded when I help others learn this business and um, duplicate what I what the business I've already achieved. And I didn't realize how much I enjoyed teaching until I actually started doing it and how much more you learn when you're teaching. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. And that's a great way to sell products when you're teaching stuff. So, okay, that's your emotional origin story. And then the second thing you do is a product demo. So if you have, if your product is supplements or if your product is skincare or clothes or whatever your MLM offers, then you want to have some products there that you can show people. And then it's, it's always, it's kind of like the home party that I was talking about. It's better if they could actually feel it themselves and they could smell the products themselves. But you can be descriptive. You can tell them, oh, that has a fresh lemony scent or this has no scent at all. And it feel, your skin feels silky with it. Whatever, however, you can use all your senses to describe your products. Because remember, way back in the earlier training, we learned how to fall in love with our products. Well, this is how you're going you're gonna to use that information in this sales video right here. 
the information that you wrote down and all the ways that you love your products and you want to express it in a way that lets them know that the results, your product provides results faster than other products. So you want to make your product better than somebody else. The next step in his formula is to eliminate all other alternatives. So you want to, to tell stories that are going to break down their beliefs and help them see that your product is better than alternatives. Tell those stories from an emotional standpoint as well. We've all seen movies. We all watch TV. And they all tell the stories to touch your emotions. They either try to get you to be scared or they try to get you to feel love or sympathy for them, pain, whatever. They're trying to, they're telling the, they're telling the story in a manner that's going to get you emotionally attached to the story so you're going to stay to the end. Well, that's what you're doing with your stories here too, to eliminate all other alternatives. Then you introduce the price of your product and you're going to compare it to something that's more expensive, of course to show why this is such a great deal. And you want to figure out a way to add in urgency and scarcity. And this is a good way to do, like I know my company always, it's like every month or every couple months, they'll have a special offer. Well, that's when you come in and you do this script. For the next two months, you can get this, this, and this. And you present it like it's your offer. It's the offer your MLM's making. But you build it up in your video like it's your personal thing that you're giving to your customer if they buy from you. And then you take the risk of buying from you away. You give them a guarantee like my MLM has a 100% reimbursement. I think it's 60 days. 60 day money back guarantee because it takes that long to use the product. So if you're not happy and you haven't seen results after 60 days, even if you've used every bit of the product, you can still request a refund. So that's a great risk reversal. So it's basically a no-brainer for them to jump on, jump in and buy the product. So again, you want to offer whatever your MLM is offering, put that in, and then throw in some of your extra bonuses. Like if you can provide, and it can be physical items too, you know, go out there and find stuff on YouTube or find other people that are providing um, things that you can coordinate a, a contract with them and you can send, you know, your, make your offer in your video if they're buying your products. Hey, you also get this, this, and this, and this, and it can be somebody else's offer. And then when they click your button to order it, it sends the order to your partner and they fulfill it. And then you're both getting benefit out of that. So you can find somebody to partner up with. You don't have to fulfill it yourself or you can fulfill it yourself or there's plenty of companies out there. You can YouTube it and Google it and figure out how to, to do that. And back to the stack slide. So this is where you're offering your bonuses for them purchasing from you. Because, like we've said, there's thousands of people selling the exact same thing you're selling. So why should they buy it from you? And if your stack slide, your bonus is awesome enough, over deliver, they're going to tell all their friends, hey, you need to buy from this person. And even if they've already bought the product, luckily my product, they consume it every two months. It's, um, it's used. So they have to rebuy. It's not something that they... You know, they buy it one and done. That's why my company is one of the reasons they're so great because it's consumable. So they're continuing to buy every other month. The same people are making the order from me. So if your bonus is good enough, people are going to switch. They're going to buy from you. I know I've done that. I've, I've had a book that I bought. The um, I can't remember which one it was now. But I had a book that I had already bought from the author, and it was one of those free plus shipping things. And then I bought it again from another guy. Who did I buy it from? Stephen Larson. He had put together a bonus, and I wound up buying the book again from him because his stack was so unbelievable. I wanted to get all of his free bonuses, so I bought the book again. $7.95. You can't go wrong with that.
Believe me, people will do it. So make your bonuses worthwhile. And like I said, you can use the same funnel after your bridge page, after they've heard your video, your sales pitch, and they're interested, boom, when they click the button, it takes them directly to your MLM site if that's what your funnel is designed to do. Or you can offer your sales pitch selling your product like I would sell this MLM marketing system and then boom my bridge page button takes them to the site to buy the course from me so you have the choice of doing it that way instead of sending them directly to the MLM site but if you're selling your MLM products and of course you want to take them to the MLM site and then you can always hit up hit them up later to buy other items from you so you can break even on your funnel so here's a better description so you can get in your mind. So the first thing, you've got your squeeze page. And here, you got your attention getting headline. Yeah, I've got to know this. They enter their email address and you click, yeah, call to action. Yes, yeah, send me this special report. And then you get to your bridge page. You might have your logo. You've got your attention getting headline. You've got your video that we just discussed what you're going to put in your video. And then you've got your attention getting headline again. And then you can write out what you've said in your video. So those that don't want to watch the video, they can actually read it. And then when they're interested, they hit yes. And then they it sends them to the next step of your funnel, which is either your MLM or your sales page for your product. And then once they've clicked yes and they're on your email list, now you can do follow-up emails to get them into any funnel you want to send them to. That's where the prize is. So that's it for the bridge funnel. So this is actually the funnel I'm going to encourage you to use, the webinar funnel. This is a little bit more, but actually I think it's easier. So only start with one and this webinar funnel will make you more money. So get the hang of this one webinar funnel first, and then once you get traffic coming in and you get it rolling successfully, then you can switch and do the, the bridge page that we just discussed or other funnels that are out there that you can, you can learn. So the first page of the webinar funnel is your registration page. And this takes them directly to a thank you page where you're, you know, Congratulations, you're booked for, here's your webinar ticket, you are in. And then you can push them to a low ticket item at that point on your thank you page. You can make an offer to them at that point. So that's why I say this webinar funnel is easier because it's easier to sell products on this versus the bridge page. The bridge page, page is a little bit different. So, um, after you have your thank you page, you'll need to create a webinar room. And this is where you're going to do your presentation whatever day you do your webinar. You're going to have your call to action, and that's your, your CTA, call to action, that's your button. So after you've done your spiel and they are believing what you're saying and they are interested and you can give them value, they've pushed, they want to, to order, then you're going to send them to your... Um, to either join your team or to purchase your products. So this is like for the webinar funnel, you can do your, your home party. You can do the hotel meeting. You can do any of those presentation type um, funnels under this webinar funnel. This is by far the best and you can charge more for your product. It doesn't have to just be your low ticket products. You can go right from a webinar because you're going to talk to them for 60 to 90 minutes. So that's an hour and a half of them listening to you and getting to know you and seeing if you truly know what you're talking about and if you truly have an offer that's going to benefit them. So during that time, you can sell them on a $2,000 ticket, $2,000 course or whatever you're trying to offer them because you've got an hour and a half or longer to do that. So again, there's more money to be made from the webinar funnel, and I don't think this is difficult to make. So again, here's your registration page. They're like, yes, I want to learn about whatever. And your first page, you've got to create a lot of curiosity. If they think they know what you're going to say, what you're going to teach on, they're never going to register. If they think they already know it, they're not going to want to hear it. 
So you need to have a picture that's kind of confusing, that kind of makes them think, what, what what are they doing? What is she doing on that picture? Doesn't even, make, doesn't even go with the other thing. It, it, you know, it's weird. And then you're also going to want your headline to, to be kind of weird too. Like, um, learn the secrets about that I've learned about my crazy little niche that's making me whatever amount of money. You know, something that they have curiosity. Okay, what are you doing to make that kind of money per day? But you tell them a crazy little niche. You're not really telling them a lot about it. They're, they're, you're creating curiosity to get them in. Um, I would recommend that you do mention MLM or affiliate because you can teach the same people the exact same thing. And people that are in affiliate may be interested in MLM because it'll make them a lot more money. They can do the exact same business but make more money off of the people they're training under them. So then they're on your email page. They've said, said yes, I want to attend your webinar. So then, bam, here's your thank you page. And now they're on your list. So now you can email them while they're waiting for the webinar to begin. Because you're going to do this webinar live. I recommend anyway. You can record it and have it um, on auto replay. But you're going to be better if you do this one time a week, every week. You're going to sell more people because you're going to hear the questions that they have. And you're going to be able to go back and rewrite your webinar and address the issues and answer the questions that those people have. Because if they have questions, then you didn't clear it up enough in your presentation. So it gives you time to go back and rewrite because you can have an actual live at the end of your thing. You can have an actual, do you have any questions for me? Anything I can help you with and they can um, type in the chat what they need and then you can spend time addressing those, answering the questions and hopefully selling more people. So then you have to have your live room here, which you can use either Zoom or you can use YouTube. I didn't realize you could do that, but you can have on YouTube, you can click on go live and you can have nine people. So you can get other people from your team, your upline can come in and do this with you. You can have like a banter back and forth. You can be talking. Nine people can be presenting to an endless number of people watching. There's no limit. So you can push a ton of traffic to this and you can have all those people watching your webinar for live, watching the webinar live, or you can get your upline person that maybe be a better presenter and they can present the, the um, presentation similar to a home party or a hotel party. They can present it for you and then they can have them direct them back to you to get the link to sign up, your special link to sign up for your course or, I mean, sign up to be on your team. So then you've got your your replay room. So this is going to send them to, um, this is something you can send everybody that either didn't stay throughout the whole presentation or didn't attend the presentation or um, didn't buy. You can send them to your replay room and they can rewatch it. And then you have to have your order form at the end of your um, live room. Now the way to, to market this, the way to push it out, say you do your training on um, Thursday. You're doing your live webinars Thursday. So Monday through Thursday at the time of your webinar, you're driving traffic to this, to this um, registration page, trying to get as many people as possible to sign up to register for your webinar. Then once the webinar stops, you stop all the, or it starts. Once the webinar starts, you stop all the traffic at that point. You, at that point, do your webinar and then you sell as many people as you can. And then on Friday, you start the replay of your webinar. So you're emailing all these people to get the replay and to see it. Saturday and Sunday, you're emailing them with urgency and scarcity because you're going to shut it down Sunday at 12, 12 o'clock at night. You're going to shut it down and that's going to be it. So there's urgency there. They've got to buy. You will not believe how many people will buy Sunday at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. before you shut the cart down. That's actually when the most of your sales are going to come through. And then Monday, you start all over again with the exact same process. You just update your registration page with the new date of your webinar. And then you've already got everything else made. 
And after people sign up for your webinar, that's what these emails for. You're reminding them. You're letting them get to know, but you also want to send them emails before reminding them to attend. And the day of, you want to send them probably two or three emails that day reminding them, hey, don't forget to join me at you know, 2 o'clock today or 4 o'clock, whatever time you're doing your webinar or 8 o'clock at night. And you want to send emails right up until the point so they can join you. You don't want them to miss out because they forgot. So how are you going to do your webinar script? What are you going to say in it? Well, um, you want to address the biggest objection they have. What is their biggest thing, the biggest problem with joining MLM? And you're trying to get them to just believe one thing. You're not trying to, to convince them of everything all at one time. You're just trying to, you're just going to pick one thing and that's going to be your goal for that webinar. You're going to attack that one belief until you convince them during your presentation to, to break their belief and rebuild it with the actual truth. Like people believe, oh, I can't do MLM. I'm not a salesperson. Well, then if that's your one thing, if you can get them to believe that your system, they don't have to be a salesperson, then that's the one thing you're trying to, your one objection you're trying to overturn. And then you have stories that you have designed to break this false belief and rebuild it back with the truth. The first one is you're focusing on your new opportunity. How are you going to teach them to be a salesperson or to do this business without being a salesperson? That's your new opportunity. And show them that they have the ability to achieve it because they're internally, they're not going to believe they can do it. So you got to tell stories of how you felt the same way and this is how you overcame it or how you helped somebody in your team overcome it. And then you're going to break down the false belief of that they have their ex external false belief. How other people are not believing in them, how they don't have enough time in the day, they have too many responsibilities, whatever their external belief is, you've got to show them how they're wrong and show them how you can do it if they use your system. And then you transition from that into your sales pitch. And this is the hardest move for everybody. So the best way to do it is to ask permission to make them an offer. They're always going to say yes, because you have a special offer for just the people that attended that webinar today. They're not going to want to miss out on your special offer because it is cheaper or it is better if they buy from you right now. They're getting more bonuses that other people don't get. So it is special. There is urgency. There is scarcity. If they do not buy from this, it's gone forever. They're not going to be able to get the same bonuses that you're going to offer them. So they are going to say yes offer to me and that's when you bring up your product what you have this is the you know this is what you get and you're showing them the stack slide that we learned yesterday showing them the bonus and the value of that bonus and then you stack on the next item and the value stack on the next one till you have a total that's 10 times worth what you're asking and then you go into your sales pitch of um if all I provided you today is this, would it be worth that to you? And then you list different things that you provided them and they're like, oh yeah, and you get them convinced that they would be willing to pay the eleven or twelve thousand dollars that you just showed the value of. Get them convinced that it's a deal at that price, but you're not going to charge them that. You're only going to charge them twelve hundred dollars or thousand dollars or whatever your offer is, two thousand dollars. And then compared to eleven thousand dollars, they're going to jump on it because it's a special offer from today. Woo, that was a lot of information. I feel like I kind of rushed through it, but hopefully it made sense to you. This is definitely one slide that I recommend you go back and rewatch. I may actually add some more training on the webinar script because there's just, Russell actually goes through several chapters on this, on how to, the timeline in promoting it and then the script in writing it and how to present it. It's basically nothing more than a presentation than exactly what I just did for you. You do a PowerPoint presentation addressing the items I just expressed to you. I just told you you need to address and you create your presentation off of that. 
and then you present it live, you see how many people you sell. If you're selling, um, I think it's 10% is absolutely knock it out of the park. That is beyond awesome. I think five is average. That's what you want, 5% of however many people attend. But if you, you keep perfecting it till you get up to 10%, and then you're going to be amazed at the amount of money you're going to make off of this and the amount of people you can help off of this. So that's why you need to do it live every week, every Thursday or whatever day you select. You need to go live at the exact same time. And then once you get it down and you answer the questions and you rewrite your presentation to address those or you redo your stories to include other people, because depending on what stories you tell are going to attract certain people. And they may think, well, that's uh, it's not going to work for me because X, Y, and Z. You know, she didn't mention X, Y, and Z, so it's not going to work for me. So that's going to give you an opportunity to go back and rewrite it and help them to see that this is for them too. They could see it. And it may be something that you thought you were addressing. And then you perfect it. And once you perfect it, then you record every single episode because you got to record it. Well, actually, YouTube does it for you if you use a YouTube format. It records it for you, and you've automatically got your instant replays. You just provide the link to that to them in your emails so they can go back and watch the replay. Hey, I noticed you didn't purchase this. Go back and watch the replay. Or, hey, I noticed you didn't watch the whole thing. Go back and, and watch the whole thing and let me know what you think. I really think this would be beneficial to you. Push this until the end and then once it's over then you start driving traffic again and you can use affiliates to drive traffic to you can use other influencers to drive traffic anybody that has an audience that is going to be interested in your offer you can use them but you don't want to use affiliates to do this until you know you have a winner until you're selling your 10 percent because you don't want to burn a bridge with somebody and you don't want them promoting it to their audience and then their audience watch it and be, oh, okay, that was horrible. I'm not going to buy that. Why did you show that to me? Well, now you've killed their reputation. They're not going to want to do business with you again. And you've lost all those people that are in their list. And again, just go one or two influencers up from where you are. You don't want to go hitting the Tony Robbins of the world, the people with millions and millions of followers yet. You want to just hit people that, you know, have a thousand followers if you're just getting started or 10,000 followers, hit them, but make sure they're followers that will benefit from your offer. Don't just go hit, okay, Mothers of America, I know you're going to want to be an MLM person, you know, you got to make sure your offer is really beneficial to them before you offer it to them. Okay, people, you did it. You now know the magic. And tomorrow's training, we're actually going to build these funnels. I'm actually going to show you the bridge page funnel. We're going to build it together. I'm going to show you how simple it is. You don't have to overthink it. The funnels don't have to be flashy. Some of the ugliest funnels in the world have been two comma award winners. That means they've sold a million dollars. So you don't have to worry about it being perfect and you don't have to worry about all the techie stuff it's really click and drop and drag and type stuff in you're going to be amazed if you've never seen click funnels before so that's tomorrow's training we're going to go through the i'm going to build a bridge funnel page and a webinar page for you and then you're going to get to have the pages the templates so all you got to do is go in and plug in your stuff for it Okay, guys, I hope you're as excited as I am. Stick with me to the end. Do not give up now. You have made it too far to stop. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy your week. Go back and re-watch this. There was a lot of information thrown at you, and the more times you watch it, the more you're going to get out of it. Okay, my marketing ninjas, have a great day.